let's go to the AI analysis. This chart coming up comes to us from Stanford University AI Index Report. And what they're asking is, if you took a human baseline of like a really smart person and took that baseline and took a look at all the forms and all the things that AI is doing, how close is it coming to humans? Well, if you look at the top of this chart, image classification, <clears throat> it's been above humans since 2016. So it can classify images better and faster, just a little bit, like 102% than a typical human. Then the next thing that, is, that has come up was medium level reading comp comprehension. Like could it understand basic articles and it crossed humans in 2019, right before COVID, like five years ago. But then visual reasoning, <clears throat> there's a couple things that have happened here. That one came up and it passed humans. That's the blue line at the top in 2021. But now you get to a few things that are starting to get, some people say scary, some people say impressive. The light blue line, visual common sense reasoning, it is now crossed 95% as effective as a human. Um, and multitask language understanding of what's going on, like compounding you know, um, instruction sets into a complex paragraph, understanding all that, it is end of last year, reached 100% of human capability and competition level math, it is crossed 90%. So it says that the AI models and the language sets that they're used to create the AI are improving every year. So the, the question for us is, now you can create tool sets, you take all those things, so now you have AI able to do things as good as a really smart human, and you've got a tool that could be used in business or some function to be as good as an assistant. That's what it means, which is really amazing. And so we're gonna keep tracking this, but many people were asking about AI, how is it getting, getting better? And so BizDoc dug into some research and found that for you, and I think it's pretty impressive. You look at all those different types and uses of AI, and they're all up at, or, you know, photographic cl classification. Five years ago, it was doing that better than a human. But now you look at the far more complex things where it's right at, uh, you are, are really smart human baseline or slightly above, very impressive stuff. Pretty soon, <clears throat> you'll be able to pay for an AI assistance like a SaaS software product. Yes, you will.